Hey guys, this is Mick and today I would like to give a quick review of the book I just finished, Great at Work by uh, Morton Hansen. So this book talks about the ways that you can be more productive at work, the, how you can do less and achieve more and how most and why some people are more productive uh, than others. So basically this book outlines seven steps into how to uh, be more productive. And the first step is try to do less, uh, but then obsess, meaning that try to be very focused on what you're doing and go deep. Uh, try to eliminate as many distractions as possible. Number two, design your, redesign your work, meaning try to find different ways to solve the problems you need to solve. Try to be creative about solving your problems on a daily basis. Number three, uh, don't just learn loop, meaning that when you try something, make sure that you measure your work uh, outcomes and then feed that feedback to uh, yourself and improve your process. Uh, you need to, number four, you need to find passion and purpose. Uh, meaning that you need to find uh, whatever you do, why you're doing it, what's your what's your passion and what's the purpose of your job. And you can find that on any different type of jobs. You just have to look in different ways and how you benefit uh, and how other benefits uh, benefit from your work. So number five, be a, a, a better uh, a leader, meaning that don't just uh, tell people what to do, show them how to do it and make sure that you project that purpose and the passion that you have for work. That will ignite your team and that would ignite your co-workers to uh, perform better. Uh, number six, fight and unite. You want to be um, you want to discuss topics uh, aggressively, not aggressively, but discuss uh, topics, any type of opinions and advocate for point of views and for the ways you wanted the project to proceed. And everyone on your team should be open uh, to uh, advocate their own point of view. But when you have decided, when you as a team listen to all the opinion and you have decided you have to unite as a team to uh, be a uh, following the decision that you came up with. So number seven, uh, you want to collaborate effectively, meaning that you don't want to over collaborate and you do, don't want to under collaborate. Meaning it's not, you don't want to collaborate for the sake of collaboration. You want to make sure that you measure the results of collaboration. What are the end of the results? Make sure you put a, a, a in, goals that are concrete, they are measurable, they are unifying and um, this way you can um, focus on achieving your goal and not just uh, to be uh, focusing on collaboration for the sake of collaboration. So that's a book and I highly recommend it. I would give it a, a 7.5 out of 10 review and uh, I highly recommend it. So it's a great at work. Thank you.